Help me. So you want to become a game reviewer, huh? Well, follow my step-by-step -step guide and you too can become the scapegoat of the entire industry. Step one, give up. You ever think you're going to be as big as IGN? <laughs> you'll have a couple of reviews do well for you and then you'll become infatuated with those numbers and you start to lose the fun you had when you started when things aren't doing as well but you're still doing well uh, do you realize that you're being stupid and you go back to making these reviews for fun losing the very idea that you'll ever make a career out of this step two refer to step one step three follow the most popular opinions online about games so people don't make fun of you or don't and give Baldur's Gate 3 a 2 out of 10 because the turn-based RPG doesn't have real type in combat. Step 4. Make your reviews really seem like they're gonna go one way and then completely go the other way for no reason. I hate this game. It's awful. 9 out of 10. Step 5. Remember that if you give a game anything lower than an 8 out of 10, it's actually a terrible score. You gave that game a 7 out of 10? That's basically a 2 out of 10! There's definitely a good game in here somewhere. You can feel it in the crunchy combat and when running from an enormous freaker horde. Your review is nitpicking and biased. I win. By I'll never watch another review from these people. Took me three years to play. Perfect example of the wrong person to do a review. Step six, say something really fucking stupid in your review so you get more engagement on social media. The way he leaps off of rooftops and flips backwards to face the camera before falling into a headfirst dive is just full of the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Step seven, remember that you haven't actually played a game since like 1996. You instead just talk about games. This is especially necessary when covering a really hard game. Especially if you can't get past the tutorial of that game, even though it's not hard and a 10 year old can beat that tutorial. I was that 10 year old. Step 8 remember to review games that you had absolutely no interest in before playing them, and then act surprised that you didn't like it. Man, uh, I'm not really a fan of Bethesda RPGs, so I was really surprised when I didn't like Starfield. I may have done that. Step 8.5. Remember that if you don't care about a game, that game is absolutely worthless and it shouldn't exist. Wait. That's just how to become a member of gaming social media. Step 9. Be really harsh to indie games that aren't actually that bad for no reason. And then give Call of Duty 936 a 9.5. Step 10. Give up again. Step 11. Accept any bribes to give a game a 10. Why wouldn't you? You gave up your dignity when you started going down this path to begin with. Step 12. Remember to give up again. Step 13. Remember that even if someone at Rockstar says the word Fortnite, that's newsworthy. Make a 16-page article about it. You're a reviewer and a journalist after all. Step 14. Compare two completely different games in your review and wonder why one of those games isn't like the other. I thought I was playing a game like Persona. Everyone must think that when they boot up Doom Eternal. Step 15. Include a lot of jokes in your review. But make sure you aren't funny. Finally, step 16. Give up. I hope this tutorial helped you on your path to no integrity. Make sure to stop by the No Integrity Diner on the way. I heard it gives you salmonella. Once you hit it not big, make sure to give me all of your money. Pikmin 4 is by far the best Pikmin game, and also maybe even the best game of the year so far.